All right, in this short example, we are going to look at how to handle the missing values in your data. I'm looking at the claims and weather data set here. And one of the fields is claim reason. So perhaps I want to look at my average total claim amount based on the claim reason. So if I look here, what I see is that my claim reasons are collision, scratch, right? More collisions, fail. And over here, what I have, null. Null stands for missing value. The value is, was not specified and it's loaded as null, right? And if I scroll down further, I have another category called other. So for the purpose of my analysis, I have several options on how to handle missing values. One option, of course, is to remove the row altogether. Well, however, sometimes it might not be the best option, especially, well, it depends on the data set size. I don't want to lose some data that could add value to analysis. So let's go with another option. I want to code the null values as other. So if here claim reason in, is unspecified, I want to call it other. So to do that, I need to right click on a column and select property. One of the properties is called expression. I'm going to click on view and edit. At a moment, it just says claim reason, which is the column name of the source in the source that I use to build this data module, right? I'm working with data module now. So what I need to do here is this. If the claim reason is missing, then I'm going to set it to string other. Otherwise, I want to keep it as is. Now, in here, I see the list of my columns in the data, right? If I select f of x, I'm going to see available operators and available constructs. In this example, we have to use if then else construct. What I do is I drag and drop. So now let's look at this. If, if claim reason is missing, which is a condition, right? And in here, otherwise, I want to keep claim reason as is. So else, expression else is going to be claim reason, right? Because I want to keep it as is, right? Here, then, right, if claim reason is missing, I'm going to set this to just to string and I'm going to call it other, right? Other. There we go. Now here, I need to specify the condition. Claim reason is missing. How do I do that? Well, I'm going to go in here, which is my list of fields. I'm going to find my claim reason. Where, okay. And I'm not, I'm going to drag and drop the claim reason into the condition. See where condition is now? I'm going to drag and drop the claim reason in here. Now what I'm going to do is I need to add the operator and the operator is going to be what? We go under f of x, we go to operator. In this specific case, the operator is going to be what? Is missing, right? So let's find it, it's in here. I'm going to drag and drop here. All right, so what it says here is that if claim reason is missing, then we're going to take other. Otherwise, right, we're going to keep claim reason as is. For the readability purposes, I'm going to put each part of the statement on a separate line, on a new line. Now what I could do, I want to make sure that the syntax of my expression is correct. I'm going to click on this check mark to make sure the expression is valid. There we go. My expression is valid. What I'm going to do right now is I need to save my changes. To do that, I click on OK. And now what you will see is this. See this claim reason, the value was missing. Right now, I don't see the missing value anymore. I don't see null. Null was replaced with other. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you find it helpful. Let me know any questions you may have.